Come sit on the reading lap. This book was requested by Charlie in California. Owl Babies by Martin Waddell and Patrick Benson. Once there were three baby owls, Sarah, Percy, and Bill. And they lived in a hole in the trunk of a tree with their owl mother. The hole had twigs and leaves and owl feathers in it. It was their house. One night they woke up and their owl mother was gone. Where's mommy? asked Sarah. Oh my goodness, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. The baby owls thought, all owls think a lot. I think she's gone hunting, said Sarah. To get us our food, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. But their owl mother didn't come. And the owl babies came out of their house and they sat on the tree and waited. A big branch for Sarah, a small branch for Percy, and an old piece of ivy for Bill. She'll be back, said Sarah. Back soon, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. It was dark in the wood and they had to be brave, for things moved all around them. She'll bring us mice and things that are nice, said Sarah. I, I suppose so, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. They sat and they thought, all owls think a lot. I think we should all sit on my branch, said Sarah. And they did, all three together. Suppose she got lost, said Sarah. Or a fox got her, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. And the baby owls closed their owl eyes and wished their owl mother would come. And she came, soft and silent. She swooped through the trees to Sarah, Percy, and Bill. Mommy, they cried, and they flapped, and they danced, and they bounced up and down on their branch. What's all the fuss? Their owl mother asked. You knew I'd come back, the baby owls thought. All owls think a lot. I knew it, said Sarah. And I knew it, said Percy. I love my mommy said Bill. Love that story too, Dylan. Joining me today, if you love the book, please leave a comment. If you have any other great book ideas or want me to read a favorite story, please leave the title in the comment section and I'll try to get to it as soon as possible. Come sit on the reading lap.